Hey, there you are. Welcome back to the studio. So tonight we're going to be talking about watercolor tins. Now, we've all had these which are little plasticky tins. Ah, there we go. That open up. You've got a couple of bays and your paints going here. This one uh, taking my paints out of uh, and I don't know where they're at. They're gone. They're in another one or something. Anyway, the, you know the starter set here. Uh, you may have seen ones like this one. I have a small cup that go on the end and fold out and fold out so you can carry uh, some uh, water in a little cup here and set it up uh, take it around for travel if you want to just like that you've got some very small mixing areas here this one holds 12 half pans but um, when you do this this is still a piece of plastic and it feels like plastic in your hand now I bought a new one for myself, a nice big uh, watercolor tin. This one you can hear is actual real metal and I'm hoping to use this to replace this that you've all seen me use and paint with. This is just so big and doesn't fit well on the screen uh, when I paint on the table behind me. This one I'm hoping is going to be a little bit smaller and you're all going to be able to see it. And again, if you don't have one of these, it's just, it's two pieces, trifold here, and then a little metal strip here that holds all of your pans, or uh, in this case, half pans. This one happened to come with a set of pans, uh, empty pans with it, holds 24. I'm going to show you how I'm setting mine up. All the stuff is right behind me. Let's get to it. Okay, here it is. Once again, the basic tin. It's a tri-fold tin with a little metal piece uh, that just comes right out. All of your pans clip in here. I'm sure most of you have one of these or have seen one of these. Um, and these, you can set the tension by folding them or pressing them a little bit in, bending them a little bit in or a little bit out. Uh, your, your pans will slide a little bit, but uh, we all know what these are. This one actually comes with a little hook on the bottom of it, so you can put it around your finger and hold it as you're painting, uh, which is a nice little feature. Uh, I bought this online on Amazon. I think this cost me 13 bucks with the pans included are uh, 13 bucks, 13.99, something like that, with the pans included. So I'm hoping that when it sits here, uh, it's because it's about half the size of my big one. You're going to be able to see this or quite a bit of this, and what I'm painting. That's my hope. So now I have set out. I have meticulously gone through all of my paint and come up with a pattern that I want to do, and here they are. We're gonna go through and we're gonna fill in the pans, do a little test here and put them in our tin. Uh, let's not waste any time, let's get going with it. The first one I'm gonna fill up, I'm gonna start right at the top, right here is Azo Yellow. I'm just gonna grab any pan out here. Just give a little squeeze. There we go. I'm hoping, beyond hope, this isn't going to take forever to do this for us. We can get through in a reasonable amount of time. I just realized I don't have anything to mix this on. There we go. And I'm just going to give a little bit of water just like that. You've seen me do it before. There we go, and that one goes right in. We're on our way. Our next one, Hansa Yellow. There you go, it's, I know it's very exciting. <laughs> you can't hardly see me do this. You know what I'm gonna do? I didn't think about it. You're looking straight down. Uh, I've got it right below what you're doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some shots from a little different angle 
I'll let you see me putting it in there. I'm going to put a list of all these. I'll talk about them at the end, and uh, I'll mash it all up and do a voiceover. It'll be just as good. Here we go.
Okay, so here we are. Maybe that way. Here we are, 24 colors, nicely arranged. With the greens, I tried to go, greens and blues, I tried to go from my most yellowish green to my most bluish, maybe a blue-red blue, hoping that it would come around this way. The more red that's in my blue here kind of hooks it around this way. And in that way, I've kind of duplicated the color wheel. I know some people are going to say, well, you should have put your earth tones together or you should have put your natural colors together or whatnot, but I kind of like the way I did it. I could have moved it around a little bit and done a little bit differently, but basically you can start it anywhere on here and move around and you've generally basically gone around the color wheel. Go from, you know, yellow to red, to purple, to, to blue, to green, and that takes us back to yellow. So we go all the way around the color wheel. Now all that's left to do is decide which way I want to put this in. I think I'm going to put it in this way, flip it up, set that on top, close it up, and I'm done. There it is. There is my new watercolor tin, set aside, ready to be used, ready for the next painting we do here on Watercolors with Michael. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and you can see a couple of the colors stain just a little bit. That's my favorite turquoise blue. Every time I get it out, I get that color all over me. Anyways, that's my problem, not yours. That's all I got for you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.